So I've only got 24 hours in Lisbon. So luckily I'm staying right in the centre in the little district called Alfama. Alfama is actually the oldest district in Lisbon and the reason being is because it's the only part of the city that survived a massive earthquake in 1755. So Alfama itself is kind of the old Moorish centre and you'll see all these little tiny streets and it's all cobblestones and it's kind of really romantic. So come on with me and we'll go exploring the city. Lisbon, such a hilly city. So I'm wearing sports shoes because I plan on going on an adventure today. You'll see I also left my hair soaking wet and that's like a traveler's tip. If you're gonna be walking around a place that's really su sunny all day, uh, leave your hair wet, it helps cool you down. Locals know Lisbon as the city of seven hills. So when you get to be walking down the hills, take advantage of the views. Going up them, not so easy. means of public transport it connects one area to another district the Barrio Alto in Lisbon and um, if the design looks a little bit familiar to you it's because it was designed by one Mr Eiffel this is Rua do Augusta and it's basically like a main shopping street so you have all the local high street stores but have you seen the ground like who put this much effort into tiling the floor of the street the place is just so cute. I mean, if I could describe Lisbon in one word, well, there's gonna be millions of words, but if I could describe my favorite word for Lisbon, it's photogenic. The place is just adorable. Every corner is tiled with all of these artesian tiles, and even they do it to the ground, and I just wanna take photographs of everything. to Lisbon is complete without experience in the local Fado music so I highly recommend you take a trip to the Fado Museum to learn about the history and culture of this music. <laughs> I'm 
traveling there's things like this that i just need to sit in awe and and marvel at like i'm in the middle of the city center having a coffee and above me is an actual vineyard <laughs> they have grapes growing out of the ceiling i mean i love it into the park for a little rest I'm just gonna sit down in the shade and um, this park is called Jardim da Australia and it's literally in the middle of the city centre that's the lovely thing about Lisbon there's like plazas and parks dotted all around the city that you can just kind of chill out and people watch Way you kind of absorb the feeling of a place but I mean the public transport in Lisbon is really really good there's metro uh, bus and tram lines so you don't need to walk around and you certainly don't need to climb up those hills because there are trams to bring you but the tram that I want to tell you about is tram number 28 it goes from east to west across the city and kind of weaves in and out of all the little places of any importance so I recommend that you buy yourself a 24 hour daily ticket for uh, public transport it costs 650 you can hop on and hop off any public transport that you want but definitely use tram number 28 uh, just even maybe like anchor yourself along that line hop off one of the stops take a walk around get to know the city jump back on tram number 28 and use that as your mode of transport that way you'll really get to see as much as possible especially if you only have a short time here in Lisbon thanks for watching please subscribe <laughs>